Hi guys and welcome again back to my channel. This is going to be a Bath and Body Works haul. Now, um, I know you guys are going to hate me because um, I tried filming the video when they had these their candles for $8. Um, I woke up that day in the morning. I forgot what day it was. I think it was on Wednesday. I woke up on Wednesday and I was like, oh my God, I was like, what am I going to do today, right? So then I started looking at my emails and I received one from Bath and Body Works. And it said three wick candles, $8 only. And I was like, still half asleep. And I was like, what? And then that woke me up. So um, I called the store and I called um, South Bay Galleria. And I know I wasn't going to go there anymore because of Unibrow. But then um, I haven't seen her there. I think she only works. I don't know why she was at the Galleria one. I'm so mean. I shouldn't call that girl that. But she pissed me off. Shit. Anyway, so I wasn't going to go in there. Um, and then um, I went in anyways. And the thing, the one thing that pulled me in was the black peppermint bergamot and the new around the world um candles um they only had meet me in tahiti new york new york and london london calling those were the only ones they had they were sold out of the other ones and i didn't go that late i went like around 11 ish close to noon and they were already sold out of quite a few cents. Um, so I go and then they ask me if I need help. And I'm just being mean to everyone. And uh, I don't know why. But it wasn't really their fault. So then I kicked myself in the ass. And I noticed I shouldn't be taking out my anger out on other people. It's not nice. And my daddy taught me better than that. So shame on me. So anyways, I start telling the girl how pissed off I was for the Black Friday. And she tells me, oh, no, like, we're really sorry that happened to you. You're always at our store. And I was like, exactly. And then so she went to the manager. Uh, and this manager happens to be the store manager for Manhattan Beach. So I was like, oh, girl, me and you need to talk. So then um, I was with one of my friends. I wasn't with Ghetto KT. Tisha, thank God. And then so um, I told her, I go, you know what, I go, I came here, I was freezing my butt off outside just to come into your store for, you know, the the young lady that was behind the register who happened to be the manager at the time of the shift to tell me that I couldn't use my coupons on top of each other. And then she tells me, uh, she apologized, you know, I'm sorry, and I was like, yeah, whatever, you know. And, um... She comes out of the register and, um, oh yeah, I had forgot my coupons at home. And then I, I was telling the girl that was helping me earlier, that one that greeted me, I was mad because I had forgotten my can, my uh, coupons, my $10 off coupons, because I was so, so happy. And here comes the store manager, this little beautiful little thing, comes out of the, you know, she comes around and she tells me, that she's sorry for the inconvenience and she hands me some coupons and I'm like oh you know thank you and then um she was like yeah she was like I'm really sorry that it happened or whatever so um I purchased all this and she told um she got my number down and she told me that whenever new stuff comes up or whenever there's like a sale on things that they were going to call me and I told her oh I already get emails and um and then she went on to tell me that I think this Saturday yeah it's this Saturday they're going to have this nice little cylinder thing it's like a cylinder and it has a bunch of goodies in there kind of like the Black Friday purse but this one looks like it has more things than the Black Friday bag and she told me that it was going to be 20 with the purchase of $40. So she gave me coupons. And um, when I went to pay 
the coupon she gave me she told me to keep and that she was just going to use other coupons so just by her doing that I mean they they really didn't have to do a lot just by them doing that showed me that they were sorry they cared um this manager took the initiative initiative to clean up the mess that the other manager made and I'm happy so let's move on you know and see what I got so I got black peppermint bergamot and it says intricate layers of spicy black pepper combined with uplifting bergamot and lavender and fragrant fragrance inspired by fall's changeable days forget the fall I know we're in the winter I'm melting this sucker soon oh my god it smells very masculine like I know they were also trying to sell me the white barn that smells like amber combis and finch I hate that store I hate it I hate it I hate it I hate it every time I walk by there I get a headache Ugh, it stings I don't know how you guys could like that scent to me it smells like fuchi then we have fresh balsam Smells like a fresh cut Christmas tree. And it says that invig invigorating aroma of fresh balsam trees on a clear winter morning features crisp, crisp eucalyptus, fir needles, and cedar wood musk notes. This one I do like, but I have already the fresh balsam spray, room spray. And no, I didn't get it yesterday in the sale. I felt like kicking myself in the ass. I was too lazy to go somewhere. Anyway, so I already have this spray. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to return this for one of the Around the World candles. Then I couldn't pass up my favorite, which is Toffee Crunch. And this reads, a merry medley of crunchy, toasty English toffee, salted pretzels, and decadent caramel drizzle combined to create a mouth-watering scent. I melted my other one, you guys. And oh my god, it smells so good. It smells really good. Then we have twisted peppermint. I already have a twister, a twister. <laughs> a twisted peppermint with the little blue, um, with the snowman. But I just wanted this one because I like candy canes. And it says, Merry and Bright Peppermint celebrates the season with notes of vanilla and sugary musk and this cheer filled scent. I just like it. I love peppermint. And I smell pep. I smell dork. I melt peppermint all year long. Like I don't care if it's a not Christmas. I'd be having Christmas in July. So then I have. I'm gonna do the. I got three of the peppermint mocha. That's how much I love this scent. And then I got one of the cinnamon um, frosting. And this is top of holiday celebrations. Top off holiday celebrations with the scrumptious scent of grated cinnamon and cloves, vanilla bean, and whooped buttercream. The more I try to zoom in, the more I get you guys dizzy. I'm sorry. And this, I can smell the cinnamon and like the... Like vanilla frosting. This smells so good. I was really disappointed with the vanilla bean oil. I was mad. So then we have peppermint mocha. It says treat yourself to the fragrance of one of winter's sweetest pleasures. Peppermint vanilla cream and cocoa topped with marshmallow. Oh my god it smells like chocolate peppermint. Not even Andes. It smells like chocolate peppermint with marshmallow. They're not lying. See I like it when things are true to their scent and it better smell like that too when I melt it so now moving on to the around the world um, candles I was really really amazed when I saw these and I was like oh my god I have to go in there now so I went in there I'm gonna turn off the heater I'm baking okay there we go so I went in there and I saw like this lady with the London calling I want to say they were about 
about uh, 20 of them. And she already had, like, her friend hold, um, like, I don't know how that little lady was holding those heavy ass boxes with candles, but she was already holding like one, two boxes of London calling, um, boxes. And I saw her just like taking all of them. So I like cut across and I just went over there and I got two and she kind of gave me the eye like those are mine. So I didn't care. I walked up and I and I got two of them and I'm glad I did because this is tea is London calling tea and lemon it smells really good I've never had anything like this it says a royal blend of tea lemon and sugar great traditions from across the pond like I know a lot of people are like oh it smells like the other um, iced tea and lemon, I never got a chance to get one of those, but oh my gosh, I want to um, see this is what happens when we have too much of a lot. I have too many candles. I don't know which one to melt. <clears throat> I have a lot of wax, which I'm still debating. I don't know which one I want to melt, but I want to melt the tea and lemon. I love this scent. Then there's also New York, New York, the Big Apple. And then this one says, the scent of red blossoms with a touch of golden amber. Big city, big dream, the Big Apple. That's New York, all right. I've never been to New York. I heard there's a lot of rats around the street. The hell I'm going. For that, I could just stay over here in Cali. And it, to me, this smells like um, country apple, which is good. I like apple scent. But I'm not like, oh, it smells like a uh, different apple with this. No, it's it smells like apples. I don't smell. I, I just me mainly smell the red apple. It overpowers the blossom and the, um, the, what is it? The amber. Which on the amber, I'm happy because I don't really like amber. It smells too strong but it smells good and then there's meet me in Tahiti white sand and vanilla flower I had to pick this up oh my god this one smells very very tropical it reminds me when I went to Hawaii with my husband oh my god it smells like Hawaii not Tahiti I don't even know what Tahiti smells like, but it smells like Hawaii. It says the lush fragrance of Tahitian petals, Manoi blossoms, and vanilla. Let's run away to paradise. Hey, I'm down. So, um, this is what I got with the $8 deal. I mean, that was a heck of a deal. I was going to get more, but... Um, I already have a lot, but I couldn't pass it up. I was going to, the other ones, I, some candles I have uh, put them in gift boxes. But um, I love Bath and Body Work candles. Whenever I get a stud, I just take that sucker back and be like, give me my money. I'm just playing. I just swapped it for something else. But um, I love Bath and Body Works. If you don't like something, take it back. You know, so... This is what I got. I got a total of two, four, six. Wait. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve candles. That's a lot. This is the. No, I'm lying because over the summer when they had their um, the semi annual sale, again, I went in there with my husband and I got like a shitload of candles. A lot of candles. And yeah, that's it. Um, that's pretty much it for hauls, you guys. Um, hopefully this week I will be getting my, um, front porch order. I ordered three sampler packs. 
So anyways, you guys, enjoy your Monday. Um, enjoy your Monday and enjoy the rest of your week. If you, has any, you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down below and I will get to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.